Hey everybody, it's Honda in the Wind. How's everybody all doing today? Hoping you guys are all having a great day, all right guys? And uh, hoping you guys also are staying safe during shelter in place, all right? So anyway, uh, today's video here, I wanna do the last video of uh, Sprint, okay? Because I have a lot of friends and family still confused um, on some of the topics here um regarding the sprint lease okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to answer some of the questions that we have so that way you guys um you know have a clear understanding of what the sprint lease is all about um i got a bunch of people also asking about uh, free phones how does that work um you know a bunch of uh, other stuff okay so i'm going to be doing it in my computer so hopefully you guys uh, will follow along and like I said, hopefully this will be, um, will um, give you guys a clear understanding of what uh, the program is all about. Because you guys, you know, some people are still um, in the lease program for Sprint. Uh, even though they're not going to be Sprint anymore in a few months, it's going to totally be T-Mobile. All right, if you guys don't already know, uh, T-Mobile and Sprint already merged since April 1st. All right, so... There's going to be a lot of new things going on uh, when they when they turn into T-Mobile, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos uh, on T-Mobile as well later on in the future. Okay, if there's any new topic, I want to make a video so that way you guys uh, can understand, you know, the um, topic of Sprint or the plans and phones um, once they uh, change completely to T-Mobile. Okay, so if you guys uh, don't want to miss out these videos, make sure to. Uh, subscribe to my channel okay and also tap on the notification bell so that way um, you're gonna get uh, notified first all right guys anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go on my computer so let's uh, let's get started all right guys um, right now I am on my computer right now so what we're gonna talk about is basically some questions and answers here on the sprint lease okay because a lot of people like i said earlier are not understanding what it is and how it works so i am actually on the sprint website i'm going to leave the link um in the description box later okay if you guys are um, you know want to still want to catch up with it or want to take a look at it again okay i'm not sure if they're going to have this website any longer you know in a few months because you know how it's going to be turning into t-mobile but as of right now, uh, it's still on the website. All right, so the question here is, well, the main uh, topic here is what to do when your lease ends, okay? So the first question here is, what happens when my lease ends? And so they're going to give us a few options here. At the end of the 18-month flex lease agreement, customer in good standing can choose to Okay, so you got a bunch of options here that you can actually choose from, all right? Own the phone by buying it in one payment or six monthly payments. Okay, so that's one option. You can own the phone or you can upgrade to a new phone. The old phone must be returned in good working condition and undamaged. Or own and upgrade. You can choose to buy the phone by paying one payment or six monthly payments and upgrade to a new phone. Or you can also continue using the phone with a month to month payment, which do not apply to the price to own it. And then lastly, you can return your phone. You also have the option of returning your phone to Sprint at the end of the lease. Remember, device must be returned in good working condition and undamaged. Okay, so, and then they have a little link down here. What is a good working condition and damage? You guys can go ahead and Click on that on your free time, okay? And then they also have some some um, restriction on the bottom here regarding the lease program. So if you guys are in one of these states, just make sure and read that, okay? All right, so we're going to move right along here. And right here it says, the number two, it says, if I want to buy my lease device at the end of the term, how do I do that? And then it says here, you can buy your phone by buying it in one lump payment or six monthly installments, okay? Depending on your lease agreement, it's easy to get your lease detail online or in the Sprint app. 
All right, and this is just basically shows you how to log in uh, to my Sprint or the Sprint app and then choose um, what you want to do. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And then the next question here is it says, my, my, my lease has ended. Why am I still being charged? And the answer is, your monthly payment will continue until you return or buy your lease device. If you continue making month-to-month -month payments, these do not apply to the price to own the device. To own, you need to contact Sprint and pay the remaining costs, or you can return the device in good working condition and undamaged. And then down here it says, remember, you have the choice to upgrade, buy your device, or return your phone. All right, guys, so this part right here is actually very, very uh, important. All right, guys, so if you guys want to own a phone, make sure to come to the store or call Sprint. Or even do it online tell and uh, select that you're going to buy out the phone outright in one lump sum or do payments if you can't afford the one lump sum. Okay, you make sure to do that because if you don't, you're going to be stuck in a month to month forever. And then later, if you do decide to buy the phone, it's at the same price six months ago. Okay, so make sure of that. All right. And then the next one is going to be, can I cancel my lease agreement? So you can cancel your lease agreement. However, if you cancel during your lease term, you are required to pay the remaining lease payments plus the purchase option price in your lease agreement. If you return your phone in good working condition and undamaged, the purchase price will be credited to your account. Okay, so basically you can return and walk away. Okay, or um, buy the phone and then or, you know, like let's say if you, your lease is you know still six more months then you gotta pay the upfront six months lease plus the buyout of the phone but if you don't want to buy out that phone they're gonna still charge you that just return the phone and then like right here it says right here they're gonna credit it back to your account okay so you're not obligated to buy the phone as long as it's not uh, damaged or whatnot all right so this is a condition right here it says again what is a work working condition undamaged what is the purchase price option so just read that when you guys have a chance all right but that is basically the main thing. And then right here it says, do I have to return my phone? And the answer is yes. Sprint, since Sprint owns the phone, you need to either return it or buy it. All right. So there's some, check some options right there. And then the, uh, la the other question here is, can I extend my lease agreement? The answer is yes. Your lease will automatically extend after your initial term. And you'll continue making monthly payment until you choose to upgrade, buy your device, or return your phone. And then the last question here is, are month-to-month -month payments a contract? The answer is yes. You are still under contract and the terms and condition in the lease still applies. Sprint still only device until you choose to upgrade, own, or return your phone. All right, guys. So that is basically the main uh, questions and answer on the lease you know if you currently have a lease or if you currently you know or if you are thinking of um, just canceling the lease uh, at least you have an idea of what to expect okay and all the options that you have uh, you know after the 18 month lease all right guys so I hope uh, this video here has cleared up a bunch of questions or you know stuff that you guys uh, are not cleared uh, because like I said, I made some other YouTube videos and some people still have some questions. And so I wanted to clarify these questions here um, on this last sprint video that I'm going to make because um, in a few months it's going to turn into T-Mobile. So I'll be, I will be making T-Mobile videos uh, in the coming months when, you know, everything is finalized and settled down. Uh, if you guys, uh, like I said, if you guys don't want to miss out those new videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel, okay? And also, not only that, make sure to tap on the notification bell so that way, uh, whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. All right, guys. Just once again, I want to thank you very much, guys, for um, you know keeping up with um, all my videos, especially my sprint videos, you know, um, and about my life and all that stuff. All right. Well, I just want to say uh, take care of you, yourself out there and uh, be safe, you know, during this time. You know, it's um, pretty scary right now, you know, so uh, just, um, you know, just be careful.
All right, guys. Once again, thanks again. And um, take care. Bye-bye.